New England Boating is brought to you by the new GMC Sierra Denali. This is Precision. This is GMC. We are professional grade. Also brought to you by Pursuit Boats. Explore life in a pursuit. Also brought to you by your New England Yamaha Outboard Dealer. And by Shipyard Brewing Company. Award-winning handcrafted beer. Welcome to New England Boating. I'm Parker Kelly. And I'm Tom Richardson. And today we're coming to you from Milford, Connecticut, a coastal city on Long Island Sound located between Bridgeport and New Haven. That's right. And Milford is home to more than 50,000 people. It was settled in 1639 by the English and is the sixth oldest in the state. It's fondly known as the small city with the big heart. Mm, that's right. Milford has over 17 miles of varied coastline, including, as you'll see, a well-protected harbor that's home to a great launch ramp, several marinas, including a city-managed facility that offers easy access to the downtown area. Right, and the downtown has nightlife and restaurants and shops, and it's quaint. It has uh, festivals and arts fairs, and yet also Bic, Chic, and Subway also call Milford home. It's a very interesting place <laughs> indeed. We're going to find out. New England Boating Milford. Let's, Let's go. go. That lobster roll looks delicious. I'll give it to you. Yeah. To another great destination. Are you shopping for me? Oh, there's a fish. Parker's going around. I'm going to miss. Nick short, sharp sweeps with the rod. Oh, we want the fish that can eat that thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hang on, Parker. Tom, don't you? <laughs> This is Jeff and Mary Jo Gallo, and uh, they were the winners of our stand-up paddleboard contest with West Marine, and they found out that we were filming here in Milford, lived the next town over, and came to say hi. Hello. <laughs> is, is, isn't that an amazing coincidence? I mean, uh, you know, here we are in Milford, here they are. It's Happy like, to be here. So tell us about boating here. Why do you love boating here? We love boating here. We grew up in this area, and um, we love the water here. We love the restaurants. We love being with all our friends and being out in the water is our favorite place to be. So nice to meet you guys. Thanks for dropping by. Thank you. Thanks. Have Excellent. a great boating Thank summer. You. Don't go away, though. we got lots more New England boating coming your way, including some fishing, some kayaking, and a look at the downtown area, right? Absolutely. Stick more Milford away. coming up. <laughs> I'm here with Ray Swift. He's the director of the Milford Lisman Landing Marina at the head of Milford Harbor. It's a city uh, owned and managed facility and it's got a ton of transient slips. How many transient slips do you have here, Ray? Yeah, we have close to 40 transient slips and we maintain four slips for commercial clamors. Uh huh, great. And now you have all the slips have electrical, electricity, right? Electric, mm -hmm. uh, water, mm -hmm. we have pump out service. And so, yeah, you got a nice facility behind you where people can shower and uh, relax. You got coffee, I know, uh, in there. And we're steps from downtown. That's really half a block. It's it's the convenience of a short walk, which which is really appealing to most of our and that's customers. And that's a big selling point for this, uh, for this facility. Is. Excellent, and it's not that far up to Long Island Sound, is it? No, what, it's about no. a mile, a little less than a oh, mile? Oh, it's half, it's half exactly, a mile. exactly half a mile so to the mouth of the So that's nothing. Well, speaking of Long Island Sound, you and I have a date with Parker right now. So let's go down to the Pursuit, get in there, and you're gonna show us a little bit about the harbor and also out in Long Island Sound and some of the sites and si sites out there, right? Very good. Let's go, let's go do it. Well, we're starting our harbor tour just outside the uh, mouth of the inlet to uh, Mil Milford Harbor. And behind us is uh, Charles Island, right? Charles Island, mm -hmm. where Captain Kidd is reported to have buried his treasure. So how about the island? Can you visit it? You can You can walk out there. Early in April, they fence it. The DEP comes in and fences it because it's a designated bird sanctuary. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you can walk around the island. Yeah, you can go on the shore yes. and have a picnic yeah. and that stuff and explore And then during it. the winter, uh, it's it's sometimes on a nice day, it's a good walk out here. Yeah. Now it's connected to the uh, to the, to the the mainland by a by a sandbar, right? We'll a call it a sandbar. It's a tombola. By, by the book, it's a tombola. I wanted to say that on camera. Right. And it's uh, there's a lot of warning signs. You have to be careful. Mm -hmm. um, it's you you may have an hour or so on either side of low tide, depending on the moon, but um, you better watch it. You if you go, if you walk careful. out, you better make sure you have enough time to get back. A lot right? of rescues and, mm -hmm. and worse has, has happened over yeah. the years. Yeah, and also if you're boating in this area, pay it, pay attention to your chart because uh, you don't want to run a gr do ground. A you don't want to run a get on ground on a tombolo. <laughs> Set the stage for us here, would you? Uh, this is the mouth of Milford Harbor. Uh, it's very well buoyed. Um, 
you stay in the channel, you won't have any issues with water depth. Um, to the right is Gulf Beach, one of the most picturesque beaches in the area. What a view, too. What a view. It's all about the view. Well, here we are at the actual mouth of the harbor between the two breakwaters. Again, well marked. Stay in the channel, no problems. To the left here is Milford Yacht Club. Been, mm -hmm. a, been in existence over 100 years. So when is the Oyster Festival? You know, the Oyster Festival's been going on for 40 years. It's always the third Saturday in August. It's the, the one weekend of the year you go on the waiting list. Mm -hmm. Now, here's a fuel dock here. Is this the only place to get fuel at the Milford Boat Works? Or is there another fuel uh, dock? Spencer's has fuel. Okay, Spencer's has fuel too. This is the town pier, the bottom of High Street. It was just refurbished three years ago, all brand new. And so that's the town right up there. That's the big attraction of Milford Landing uh, is, is, is steps to downtown. And, you, and look at this ter look at this terrific tie-up float that they have here at the at the launch ramp facility. That is something. Now tell us about this bridge. I hear the bridge is kind of a, a, a big deal. It's it's a memorial to one of our original Harbor Commission members. He was the guy who, well into his 90s, was still building docks, driving pilings. Um, he built from bringing back a lot of material from old structures out on Charles Island. Ray, thank you. You're that welcome. That was a great harbor tour. You're welcome. It was a great way to spend uh, part of the afternoon. Yep, from a local, an absolute local. The Born man who knows. Here. And the former harbor master. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> so what's next? The town is, uh, is close. We can walk to a lot of restaurants. Do you recommend any? Town's half a block up. Um, Give me a hint of what you'll want, uh, and I'll uh, give I can you, direct give, you to, I'll, I'll give you to the place. One word, wings. I wings. need wings. <laughs> <laughs> if it's all about wings, Archie Moore's. You can't get any better. We're, we're heading to Archie Moore's. Yep, I guess so. <laughs> I hear the wings are really good here. Wings are our special. <laughs> <laughs> we requested wings and they sent us here. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Tell me, yeah. how, how hot are they, really? They're pretty hot. They have a little yeah. bit of a kick, but they're not too bad. Okay. All right. All right. Archie Morris. <laughs> Milford. Good idea, Ray. <laughs> Thanks, Ray. Well, between our server, Gabby, and Dave, the manager, we had a delightful time at Archie Moore's. Well, Parker, it was our pleasure indeed to have you there. Yes. Well, it's and a it slow was, burn, those wings. Yeah, you know what? Lived up to its billing, though. Very nice. Had a little crunchy texture on it, but perfectly cooked. <laughs> and, uh, you know, spicy, but not too spicy. <laughs> well, we got to have a little spice. That's how we sell the beers, you know. That's oh. right. <laughs> <laughs> Very smart. <laughs> so nice to meet you, Dave. Come on, it's something. It's Come not on, what is I it? know it's not Yeah, what is it? Yeah, it, it's like you're down in the Everglades or something. It's better. Better, yeah, much better, absolutely. We're back at Milford Landing. Woo! Good call on the wings. Yeah, guys, good recommendation. <laughs> We're well fortified. We're ready to go fishing. We got Ray Swift. Junior and his son Ray Swift the third. And uh, what are we guys? What are we gonna do, guys? Where, what are we going for? Oh, we're gonna anchor up and hopefully catch some striper, maybe some bluefish. Sounds good. Do a little chunking, right? We're gonna chunk. Excellent. All right. Yeah, I like chunking. Hey, we can do that. <laughs> I can chunk after lunch <laughs> with the best of them. <laughs> Post lunch chunking. Let's go. Let's hit it. <laughs> You know what, we do a lot of bringing people out who haven't fished before, so you don't, it's not like trolling where you gotta know what you're doing. Here we can come out, throw some chunks on the bottom. You get somebody who doesn't fish often, catch them bluefish or striped bass, they have the time of their life. We're using an offshore angler, ocean master, level wind, conventional reel. And this is a, a nice versatile reel. We've got it filled with a uh, 30 pound test braided line, which is great for bottom fishing. This reel uh, will also be great for fluke fishing or, or, uh, or bluefish, um, light trolling, sea bass, that kind of thing. But today we're using it for chunking. A classic bunker chunk on a circle hook. That is lethal. This is your tasty piece right here. I did get a tap there. 
What is, is it? Is it another it's sea an, robin? It's another sea robin. <laughs> no one. What is it? Well, those circle hooks are just doing a great job, oh though. It's a sea robin clinic. Typically, it doesn't take much to attract fish because there's so little out here, you know, on the bottom. You mean it's just flat, except it's for flat. these isolated rock it's, piles it, and wrecks. It can be muddy, so you try to hit a, a rocky spot or, or a, a location with a wreck. I think it's high Hey, Ray! Ray the third <laughs> with, with the bluefish finally get got it in the boat, got one in the boat. It's not a striper, but hey, we'll take a bluefish, right? It's also not a, a robin. <laughs> <laughs> and also the sea robins. It beats a sea robin any day. Well, you know, Long Island Sound bluefish, they're out here. They're off Milford. And where are we going next? Uh, about town. About town. About town. <laughs> we go from about bluefish to about town. <laughs> Strolling around town, who did I bump into but the mayor of Milford, Benjamin Blake. Hello. Hello, pa Hello Parker. How are you? <laughs> I'm wonderful. What an amazing town you have. Absolutely. If you're lucky enough to live in Milford, you're lucky enough. However you can get here, a fantastic place to stop. Now, you were born and raised in Milford. And I'm very proud of it. Yes. So tell our viewers a little bit about why they should come visit this historic town. Absolutely. 376 years young. And we have the longest coastline in Connecticut. We have the second longest green in all of New England. We have lots of shops and restaurants and places to eat and dine all around our downtown. Uh, our downtown actually is the convergence of our train station, our harbor, uh, all of the, uh, the downtown highways. So it's a great place to come and uh, enjoy yourself. Now what would you say is the personality for visitors, like the personality of this place? Uh, we are a, a summertime crew, so uh, if you come here in the summer, uh, be prepared to enjoy yourself, be prepared to uh, eat and go sunbathing and things like that because um, it's a, a summertime place. Yeah, we're going to be doing some kayaking later and uh, we're going to be out there. It's just beautiful. We did some fishing. And we have a protected harbor, uh, lots of public marinas and private marinas, so lots of places to, to stop at the dock and to make sure that you can have easy access to the downtown. Yes. So, so welcome one and all, Benjamin Blake, Mayor of Milford. I just happened to bump into. I'm sure you're busy doing city business. Absolutely, but always time for you, Parker. Thank you, thank you so much. Stay with us, kayaking, citrus coming up. Don't go away. So here we are in the town of Milford, and there are, within just a few miles, there's the Autobahn Center, there's Silver Sands State Park, there's a mall with movies, and there's lots of different specialty shops and all sorts of things to do right here in Milford. But of course, it's centrally located, so you can go to uh, Bridgeport, New Haven, and of course, there's the train, just an hour and a half. You can do a day trip right from Milford. Keep your boat here, take a day trip to New York City. It takes an hour and a half. Train runs right through here. Now, there's lots of shops. I'm going to check out this cheese shop. So I was just about to uh, jump into this gourmet <laughs> cheese shop, food shop, and I run into, this is Milford, Gail Slosberg, the state senator. Can you believe it? Tell everyone about Milford, why it's so beautiful. This is, it's, this is an incredible community. You can actually stop your boat right here, get right off on the landing, and come walk downtown. This is a, it's a quaint New England downtown, but we have everything that you could possibly need here. Um, for it's Friday afternoon, nothing better than picking up some great cheese and chocolates at Villa Gourmet, um, and then go down the street and take a look at all the li other little shops and enjoy our evening before we go have cocktails at the beach. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, so Rebecca, we said we didn't want to be on camera, your daughter, <laughs> but also loves cheese. She loves the brie. Yeah. And we said, what did we say? Uh, brie is. Um, Ice cream and butter had a if baby. If ice cream and butter had a baby, <laughs> they would have the brie that's in this shop, which is amazing. Although I will tell you, I like the cheddar with caramelized onion. It is outstanding, out of this world. But nothing's complete without a, bit, a little bit of homemade truffles um, from H Mango. So they make the best, the most incredible truffles in the whole world. Okay. So it's a lot of fun. So you heard it from the state senator. <laughs> good cheese, good food, good town. Thank you so much. My pleasure. You heard it. So All right, nice take to meet care. You. Enjoy nice your weekend. cheese. I'm going to go get mine. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hello. Everyone said I should come in. Absolutely. Okay, so um, caramelized cheddar with uh, caramelized uh, onion. Cheddar with caramelized onion. That's exactly what she said I should try. And okay. her daughter, Rebecca, said the brie. You got it. Caramelized onion cheddar. Wow. 
This, I think, also would be wonderful for a grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is tasty. Uh. So it's a go mm, for you? That is a go. Okay. Good. I won't eat it all at once. Okay. I promise. Okay. Wow, that well, was you delicious. Can. You want to taste this? Of course. Okay. Where butter, butter, <laughs> and ice cream had a baby. <laughs> and named it Baby Brie. Thank you. Thank okay. you so much. All right, have fun. Okay, thanks for the recommendations too. I also got Fig and Christini. Thank you. Okay, bye, bye bye. See you soon. Tell us about this dish right here. Uh, this today we're going to be preparing the tuna and avocado tartar. Uh, mm -hmm. This is kind of a play on like a chip and dip kind of dish. It's Yum. a cold preparation mm -hmm. tuna. Hi, I'm Tom Richardson. And I'm Parker Kelly. And welcome to the GMC Launch Ramp Series. That's right. Today we are in Milford, Connecticut, and we are the head of the Milford Harbor. That's right. Milford Harbor Launch Ramp. This is a great launch ramp. It's not far from Interstate 95, so it's close to a lot of Connecticut destinations. It's got parking for some 40 truck and trailer rigs, and it's got, count them, three, three ramps, uh, double lane ramps, too, so you can get six boats in and out of here simultaneously. It can get very busy on weekends, as you can imagine, but it is a great facility. It, it's an all-tide ramp. You can get large vessels in here, and it's free, and it also offers very quick access to Long Island Sound. It's only about a mile or so uh, from here to the inlet. That's right. So if you're looking for a great access for your boat to central Long Island Sound, this is it, Milford, Connecticut. Well, we're here off of Charles Island with Tina Pritchard and her father, Lauren. They're with Scoot and Paddle, located in the Walnut Beach uh, section of uh, Milford. And uh, you uh, rent kayaks, don't you? I do. Excellent. And uh, how long have you guys been in business? This is our third season. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, you're, you have your kayaks right on the beach area, not far from where we are, right? Yes, we do. We mm -hmm. keep them right out on the beach throughout mm -hmm. the day. Now, now, do you give lessons or any uh, tours or anything of that nature? We do group paddles. Mm -hmm. um, we do a, a couple of tours a year. Yeah. And we do mostly just rentals. Yeah. It's and such a cute name. Scoot and paddle. Scoot and paddle. <laughs> scoot and paddle. Can we scoot sometime too? You can scoot <laughs> anytime. Yeah. What about the treasure though? I heard Captain Kidd buried his treasure Come on there. guys. Stop. It is rumored that there's treasure buried there. Someone's telling us to stay off the island. Someone doesn't want us to get the treasure? <laughs> That's what we suspect. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. It's a long held belief. Excellent. Oh, we'll respect that. Yeah, we, well, it's a beautiful day, and you've got uh, this island is not very far from shore, so it's kind of an easy paddle even for beginners, great, really. It's a great destination, mm -hmm. half a mile from Silver Sands. Yeah. So. Do you do tours out here to Charles Island? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. We go around it. It's closed right now because of the nesting birds, mm -hmm. but we, in the fall, you can go on the island. Excellent. And what else is on the island? Uh, well, we have the largest largest heronry in the state of Connecticut, so we've got a lot of birds. We've got herons, great blues, night herons, we've got really? egrets, glossy ibis, mm -hmm. all kinds of birds out there. Yeah, and I hear there's some four-footed animals uh, as well. Deer. We have some deer out there. <laughs> deer. Oh, deer. Oh, deer. Yes. <laughs> so the fall, you can come out here and yep. uh, go on, on the island. You sure can. It's really interesting, the old ruins that are out there. Well, that was a great paddle out here to Charles Island. Thanks a lot, Thanks. Uh, Tina and Lauren Pritchard of uh, Scoot and Paddle in the Walnut Beach section of Milford. Thank Thanks you. a lot, Thanks guys. Thanks for coming Don't out. let them get back to work. I will. You do a little kayak fishing on your Bass Pro kayak, and I am off wait. to Citrus in town Milford to cook with the chef. Wait, you're going to get to eat? Yeah, I'm eat. <laughs> Well, I'm getting kind of hungry. I know. Well, you know. <laughs> Well, after a long day on the water, there's nothing better than stopping in for a dock and dine. And just steps up from the harbor is Citrus. That's where I'm going to go in. I'm going to meet Oli, the chef, and uh, do a little cooking. So tell us a little bit about uh, 
uh, the restaurant, the kind of food you guys serve here? Uh, well, Citrus has been open since 2001. Uh, we opened in September. Uh, I've been here personally about uh, October will be 13 years for me. Tell us about this dish right here. Uh, this Today we're going to be preparing the tuna and avocado tartare. Uh, mm -hmm. This is kind of a play on like a chip and dip kind of dish. It's Yum. a cold preparation tuna. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm all so over there's, that. There's no, uh, there's no cooking actually involved. It's more of just like a preparation. All right, let's get to it. What do I do? Okay. Uh, well, first off, we're going to clean up the tuna here and get ready to go. Okay. Uh, this is a, a piece if you'd like to put oh, some gloves on. So basically, we're just going to trim that right off the fish there. Okay. You're going to want to get rid of any part of that's discolored. Okay. And then the chain is on the other side. This has a lot of different connective tissue and whatnot in there that we use for other applications in the restaurant. So what you're left with is a nice center cut piece of yeah. tuna that, loin. Yeah. So we're going to cut it down, yeah. make a couple slices um, oh, that looks delicious. across this way. Mm. So basically, we're going to just kind of dice this up. Okay. And if you want to jump in, you feel free to nudge me out of the way. Okay. You like. <laughs> Move over. There you go. <laughs> the other thing we're going to be adding to this dish is avocado, which I already have one cut in half here. We're just going to take it right out of the, out of the skin, and then we're just going to dice that up. And then pretty much everything else is all set. So I'm going to take the tuna here. We're going to put it yeah. right into the bowl. We're going to hit it with a little uh, kosher salt and a little bit of fresh ground black pepper. We're going to add some uh, diced up mango. This is going to bring a little sweetness to the dish. It's oh, going to yeah. make a little, you know, kind of fresh uh, summer kind of flavor going on. Uh, we're going to add a little bit of chopped chives for good. a light onion kind of savory element to the dish. And then this sauce is actually a teriyaki glaze. This is going to help bind it all together. It's a little okay. thicker. This is going to be uh, wasabi tabiko. It's going to be uh, it's an American flying fish roe infused mm. with wasabi. We're going to toss this up. We're going to just put this into the ring mold in the plate here. Okay. Uh, we're going to remove the ring mold. We have over here a crispy fried wonton chip, and this is going to add a crunch element to the dish. Great. Usually we kind of stack these around the outside. Okay, can I do some? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to put the finishing touches on it here okay. with a little more of this teriyaki drizzle right around a couple times just to add a little seasoning to the chips. We have some spun beets over here, which we have a fancy now, little tool what? in the back that's going to cut that in a manner that gives it that pre presentation. Oh, that's so pretty. And then we garnish it with a little herb salad, which is a mix of uh, chervil and chives and curly parsley. And that's your complete dish, the nice. tuna and avocado tartare. And that's your complete dish, the tuna and avocado tartare by Oli and me. Well, that's it for another episode of New England Boating here from Milford, Connecticut. And what a welcoming place this is, uh, starting with our reception uh, by, by Ray Swift at the Milford Landing, uh, Lisman Landing Marina, and his staff, I mean, made us feel right at home, got a nice home for the pursuit, we were off and running. And Ray the Third? Uh, Ray the Third took us out blue fishing, and uh, a little sea robin as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We went, and no. then <laughs> they raised the roof, all the rain. Raised the roof. Raised I like it. Sunshine. That's pretty good. It was good. So really, the small... City with a big heart turned out to be thusly, really. It did. No, it's great. We had, uh, remember the wings at Archie Moore's? Oh, that, yeah. that was great. With the uh, slow burn. The slow burn, that's right. And then uh, paddling out to uh, to Charles Island yeah, in that gorgeous. area with, with Tina yeah. and her kayaking outfitters. Uh, just and Ollie over at Citrus and the Colony Grill. I mean, another whirlwind uh, trip. Uh, to on, Connecticut. On Long Island. <laughs> but Sound. we have to move on, right? Yes, we do. We have to move on. <laughs> so please follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram to see behind the scenes and to see where we're going to be next week. And if you want more information on Milford. Yes, you can go to newenglandboating.com. You'll find a whole bunch of information on boating destinations throughout New England. Yep. Well, until next week, I'm Parker Kelly. And I'm Tom Richardson. See ya. Bye. <laughs>